Hello and welcome to video number nine. This is sales buttons and one time offer links. Once you set up your sales funnel within JVZoo, you are almost done. Congratulations, you've made it this far. All you have to do now is make sure that your sales pages are connected via the sales buttons and no thanks links. So the sales buttons will be obviously your friend and offer will have one sales button and then they buy through that and then they are presented with a one-time offer. If they buy through that, you can redirect them to somewhere else, which we talked about in the previous video. So to connect everything, you need the sales buttons and you need the no thanks links. So let me go ahead and hop on over there and we'll show you where to find them and where to add them. Okay, so what I did was I went back into my JVZoo account and I created this really basic funnel. And as you can see, there literally is just two products. There's the front end offer, the one time offer here, the one time offer here. And of course we could add down cells and all that as well. But I wanted to make sure that I showed you at least the understanding of, okay, what do I do with my front end sales page? And what do I do with my one-time offer one? As long as you understand the process between these two, it'll make more sense on what you need to do when you add more one-time offers or down sales. So with the front end offer, if we refer back to the Word document that I created earlier, so it says, if you buy front end offer, then this happens. Now, what we need to do is we need to get the sales buttons. The sales buttons connect each page together. And the way you define it in JVZoo is the way the system will behave. So if you set things up in your account to do this, it'll actually do that within JVZoo. Now, the front end offer is easy. All right, so if you buy the front end offer. So as far as sales pages go, in this case, all we need is this. So let me just delete this here and show this to you here. So front end sales page, all right? So the front end sales page is obviously going to have a buy button. Now, obviously, if you have different price points, you'll have different buy buttons for the front end offer. But we're not going to get into that today because I just don't want to make things more complicated. So here's how it normally happens. The buy button is going to appear on the front end offer. So you're going to get a unique buy button. All right. The one time offer on the other hand, and we'll put OTO one, this is going to have a buy button. All right. So every single thing, front end offers, one time offers, everything is going to have a buy button, but the one time offers, are going to have a no thanks link. So if we refer back to that, okay, if somebody buys this, then they get pointed here, right? If they buy this, this buy button will point them to one time offer two. Now, if they don't buy that, you're gonna have to have a link that says no thanks, right? So it says no thanks, I don't want the one time offer. So in this case, you're going to need for every one time offer, you're going to need a buy button and a no thanks link. All right. So let's look at this again. So somebody buys this, we're going to get the front end offer here. So front end, this is front end offer. Let's go ahead and click the buy buttons here. Now they are going to give you a no thanks link for every single product, but because this is your front end offer, you do not need the no thanks link. All right, you're only going to go down, you're gonna find the button that you want, and then down here is your code. So you're gonna take this code, you're gonna copy the code, and you're gonna paste it into your sales page. And that's it for your front end offer, all right? So once you've done that, you can mark that out. So I like to use Word and I like to mark things out when I'm done, so I know, okay, I'm done with this. This is what is next. All right. So next we have OTO one. So we refer back to that sales page and then we need to add a buy button and a no thanks link. All right. So 
To do that, we go back to the sales funnel here. We go over here, this one here. We click the buy button. And like I said earlier, every product has a no thanks link and a buy button. Now, in this case, because this is a one-time offer one, the no thanks link is going to appear somewhere on the bottom of the page. So you can grab the code here and then copy it and then add that to the bottom of your OTO one sales page. Now, same with the buy buttons, find the buy button that you want, get the code and then add that to throughout your sales page. Because it's a buy button, you might want to put it somewhere near the top under your video sales letter, somewhere in the middle and somewhere maybe down below at the very end of your pitch. So you want to kind of sprinkle it throughout. But as you understand, each OTO is going to have a buy button and a no thanks. Now, okay, so as far as a downsell goes, you still need a buy button and a no thanks. And the reason being is even though somebody might not buy the downsell and you're not forwarding them to anywhere, if they click the no thanks, then they will be done. They'll be then sent to download the files via JVZoo. All right. So if someone thinks, clicks no, they don't want the product. That's what's going to happen. So nonetheless, regardless is if you have a one time offer or if you have a down sell, you have a buy button and you have a no thanks link. And that's it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.